place your metal want to stand, make sure you have clamped the ground clamp on. Adjust the machine to the proper settings for the thickness of the metal you are welding on. Once everything is set properly, turn the machine on and get, get the rod close to the metal. Do not make contact yet. Pull the hood down over your eyes and prepare to make contact between the rod and the metal. To strike the arc, move the rod quickly, being careful not to stick the rod to the metal. Once you have established an arc, move the electrode in a C or a half moon motion across the metal. Move at a speed that will allow you to make a strong weld, not too slow, but not too fast. Pull your hand back away from the metal to kill the arc. Once you have finished running your bead, turn the machine off. Use tongs to pick up the metal, take it to a water source, put water on the metal to cool it off. After it is cool, take a chipping hammer and chip off all of the slag. Then use a wire brush to clean the extra slag off. Then put more water on. Okay, this is a Lincoln Electric ACDC arc welder. The set the settings right for a AC rod, which would be a 6011 or a 7018. Then you can turn it up to 90. You weld with an 8 inch rod, but if you weld with smaller than the 8 inch, you would like to keep it on or under about 75. So if you're using DC or reverse or full polarity, then you would turn it to full or reverse. Okay, there's a few placements you gotta, you're able, you're able to put it into the electrode and electrode holder. You got your first regular one, which is horizontal. Then you got your upward diagonal. Then your lower diagonal. And then your vertical. Today we're welding with the 611 welded electrode. Okay. The 60 on the welding electrode is the pounds of tensile strength that it has. You would take the 60 and times it by 1,000. The one next to the 60 is actually the all around position that you can put the welding electrode into. And the other one is the special number which tells you that it is fast freezing. 